hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome sis today i have this bomb black glitter smoky eye on my client with two different lip combos this look was actually very easy to accomplish so let's get started so her brows are already done if you want an in-depth brow tutorial on my channel i have one and it's in the link in my description box and i just put on some eye tape so that her eyeshadow will be way easier to clean up later on but the first things first i'm just priming her eyes with a black eyeshadow base now i usually use like a a white one or a light one that's kind of like beige but i'm using black because i want the black eyeshadow that i'm now applying to really pop and stand out so i'm just packing that black eyeshadow on kind of like in like a half moon cut crease type of shape just making sure that the black is very very popping and it stands out a lot just packing that on and then i'm going to like tug at the edges of it because when i apply the next color i want them to blend properly but i don't want to blend out the black completely so i'm just tugging at the edges to make sure that i get that ombre effect when i apply the next color So now I'm going to take this warm brown eyeshadow from the Morphe 39 L palette on a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to use that to apply the brown to the edges of the black so we can further smoke it out. When you're doing a smoky eye you honestly only need like three colors because you just want to go from like light to dark. You can honestly use two colors but the point is just, just blend everything together and make it look like one while still having the ombre effect. Like you just want the black to look smoked out and I feel like brown gives the best look for that so i just applied that to the edges of the black and i'm going to like tug at it and blend it out in windshield wiper motions and stuff and if you need a very detailed um tutorial on like a eyeshadow guide like what brushes to use how to get the colors to be very popping and stuff i'll leave a link to that in my description box below but now i'm going to take this beige eyeshadow on a fluffy brush because i don't want the colors to be too concentrated but i want the um, eyeshadow to blend out seamlessly so I'm just using that to like blend everything together and then I'm gonna um, take a little bit of the brown again and go back in on the black to make sure that everything looks like one the key is to just blend everything together to be honest that's how you get the perfect smoky eye and now I'm just tapping some eyelash gloom on my client's eyelid because I didn't want a whole bunch of black eyeshadow on the eyelash wand I mean the eyelash glue wand and I'm just going to pat that on so that we could get ready for the glitter. And now I'm going to apply my custom glitter mix. Now, I mix my own glitters. I make my own glitter combos because I think like the chunky and fine glitter mix looks the best. So I get my glitters from Michaels and Amazon. I just make sure I read the labels to see if it's safe to put on the skin and on the eye. And it definitely is. I don't have a specific link because I've had these for so long. But yeah, that's just what I use. And then I just put a little bit of black eyeshadow in the crease to make sure that the glitter and the eyeshadow like blend together because I don't want it to look like a black glitter cut crease I want it to look like a black glitter smoky eye so I added a little bit of black I put a little bit of highlight in the brow bone and then I put some got to be glue hair gel on the um, on her brow hair just to make sure that it doesn't look all over the place and now I'm redefining her brows to make them look extra sharp with some dark brown eyeshadow and now I'm not moisturizing her face. I'm using the moisturizer to wipe off the glitter. Some people use tape and stuff, but I'm not putting tape on my client's face. Like, I'm not doing that. That might, that sounds painful. So what I do is I take a moisturizer or a primer or something, but I'm using moisturizer because that's my cheapest option and I have a lot of it. And I just put that on the face and then I take a cotton pad and just wipe it off and it literally just glides right off. So if you have trouble taking off glitter on your face or your client's face, just use a primer or like lotion or something and take a cotton pad and glide that right off and then i'm going to clean up under her eye because there was a whole bunch of eyeshadow and stuff on her eye and as you can see i removed the um eyeliner tape that i had on her eye because it just makes the cleaning up process of the eyeshadow way faster i usually use concealer but you know for this i didn't have to do that because i used the eyeshadow tape and now I'm just going to actually moisturize her face this time with the Pond's Dry to Very Dry Face Cream. She has oily skin, but that cream works for any type of skin tone, to be honest. And now I'm going to prime her skin with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This primer will make sure that her makeup lasts all day and it gives the makeup something to grip to. And her, she's told me that her T-zone was really oily, so I just put some... Um, no color powder from RCMA on the very oily spots because this will soak up all the oils and it will make the makeup last way longer. 
So now I'm just going to apply foundation and I'm using a lipstick applicator to apply it and then I'm going to blend it out. As y'all know, I always apply my foundation in sections just in case like the foundation doesn't match. I like test it on a little part of the face and then blend it out to see if it matches. And then once it matches, I continue to blend it in all over the face. I also use a lipstick applicator to apply the foundation first and then blend it out because the lipstick applicator gives a full coverage spray but it feels very thin and light on the face so that's why I use the lipstick applicator and I'm using the morphe y8 brush to blend it out because it's dense but it's fluffy and those type of brushes give the best blend when blending out like eyeshadow and foundation and stuff and as y'all can see the foundation is a tad bit darker than her skin because one her face is lighter than her skin and two i'm gonna go very very light with the highlight because i think that bright highlights with a dark smoky eye really make the smoky eye pop so now i'm going to highlight her face using a concealer that's about like three to four shades lighter than her skin tone and i'm just going to apply that with a brush because i want it to feel light but i want it to also look very full coverage so i find that like flat concealer brushes and like you know lipstick applicators like i previously stated give off that effect and i'm just putting it in all the places that the sun hits her face like i said i find that a bright highlight really makes the eyes of the smoky eye pop a lot so i'm just applying that to you know her under eyes her cupid's bow the bridge of her nose and her forehead and also i didn't mention about the foundation i didn't give y'all a shade specifically because i mix like four different colors i have a very detailed tutorial on how to color match and find the perfect tones and stuff and all that stuff for your clients i have that coming very soon so i can't tell y'all which colors i use because i use like four so yeah just a disclaimer and i also did her lashes off camera i'll leave a link to where i put her lashes in the description box below but now i'm just putting some kevin aquan skin enhancer on top of the concealer that i just put because this concealer is so full coverage and a little bit of it goes a long way and it just i love the golden undertone that it has to it so i just applied that on top and i'm putting a little bit underneath her jaw well not her jawline her cheekbones because i want to do like a little reverse contouring so that when i apply the contour and i blend that out it'll look very very snatched now we're moving on to contouring i'm taking some of the elf hot not hydrating the elf camel concealer this is the regular camel concealer in rich ebony i believe and i'm just putting that in like the perimeters of her face like on her cheeks her forehead and stuff like that basically all the places i kind of want to chisel down but this contour shade has like a slightly orange undertone to it and i feel like this will bring a nice warmth to her face while slightly chiseling it down a little bit so i'm just applying that in the places that i want to chisel down which is like her forehead her cheek and I think I put a little bit on the jawline. I'm not sure. Y'all will see in a second. But yeah, I'm just blending that out with the foundation brush. And I use the same foundation brush to blend out the foundation and the contour because I think it just meshes the product together good. And also, I'm lazy, so I like to use the same brush within the same application so I don't have to wash out a whole bunch of brushes later. <laughs> So now I'm just going to blend out the highlight and I let the highlight sit before I blend it out. If you watch my videos, you know why, but if you're new here, it's because when you let the concealer get tacky, it gives a more full coverage look and it, I feel like it blends out way better. So I let it sit and now I'm just going to blend it out with the original beauty blender and I'm going to go back and forth between the beauty blender and the foundation brush to make sure that the contoured part and the highlighted parts of her face blend in together perfectly.
So now we're going to set the highlighted areas of her face using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm taking this like fluffy eyeshadow brush that I got from like a set a long time ago. I think this was a gift. But you could take any fluffy eyeshadow brush that you have or whatever brush works for you. And I'm just setting the places where her makeup creases the fastest. So for her, that was underneath her eye and also like in the crevices of her nose and i also apply a little bit of the setting powder on that same brush to the nose basically in the places that's like the hardest to reach and the places that um crease the fastest and i set that first with the setting powder and sometimes if the eyes are creasing too fast, I have to go in with the beauty blender and blend it out and then apply the setting powder because if you apply powder to like places that's creased, it will show when you set the makeup. So you got to blend it out, make sure it's blended out first and then apply the setting powder. And then I'm going to go over that and set everything else with a makeup sponge with the same setting powder. So now I'm going to set the other areas of the face that I didn't set with the Sasha Buttercup, which was basically the contoured parts. And I'm using the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder because this is the best powder ever. It doesn't give any flashback no matter the skin tone, and it doesn't make my clients look ashy, whether they're light skin or dark skin. So now I'm actually powder contouring. I'm setting the cream contour that we put with a powder contour, and I'm using the Black Radiance Dark to Deep um, true complexion contour palette or whatever and I'm using the sculpt shade and now I'm going to wipe away the setting powder with my foundation brush I use my foundation brush because just in case there's a little bit of flashback by any chance there shouldn't be but just in case there is the leftover product on the foundation brush will get rid of that so I'm just wiping away the setting powder and I'm gonna leave a little bit under the eyes because I want that part to really bake the most and then after I let it bake for a little bit, I'm going to use the Real Technique setting brush to wipe away under the eyes because under the eye is very delicate. So I want to use a delicate brush to wipe away that powder. And now I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. And this is the Morphe Glamour Bronzer in Supreme. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics powder brush. And I'm just applying a little bit of it on the areas that I want to bronze up, which is like basically the areas that I contoured. And I'm just putting a little bit of that all over the face. I put a little bit on the nose as well, just because, I don't know, I kind of like that. And now I'm contouring the nose slightly with a Morphe M506 brush and the same bronzer that we used just now. I'm not too heavy on nose contour, so I just do a little bit of contour with a powder contour or a bronzer. I don't really cream contour on the nose because, like I said, I'm not that big of a fan of it. And now I'm going to wipe away the excess powder that I left under the eyes because I wanted that to bake a little bit longer because that creases the most so I kind of leave the powder on longer than usual. I'm going to take some pink blush and just apply that to the cheeks with the same brush that we applied the bronzer with. And this is from the e.l.f. Um, blush palette. And now I'm going to apply some highlight with my favorite highlighter, the Artist Couture Highlighter in Conceited. This highlighter is so bomb and it looks great on any skin tone. Okay, it is so fire. So I love it very much. And I'm just applying that to like the high points of her face. And then after that, I'm going to put on some Fenty Diamond Balm to her cheeks, basically to the same place is that I applied the shimmer highlight from Artist Couture and now I'm going to line her waterline with some black um, gel pencil liner and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom part of her eye just to complete the smoky eye and then I'm going to add a little bit of brown eyeshadow on an angled brush to complete the eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, I mean Mega Length Mascara. My favorite mascara because the bristles are really small so they get every single lash. And now I'm going to move on to lips. So I'm taking a brown eyeshadow and the same brush that we used to put eyeshadow underneath the eye, just an angled brush. And I'm using that to line the lip because eyeshadow lasts longer than lip liner. And then I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Back Chat Lip Gloss as the new lip gloss in the center. And I'm just going to apply that to her lips. I'm going to follow that up with some clear lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store. And then I'm going to make her like rub her lips together and like puck it together and stuff. And then I'm going to take the Real Techniques sponge. 
and some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And I'm going to pounce that into her skin to set her makeup, as y'all can see, because we just put on mad layers of makeup. So we need to set all those layers. So I'm just using the sponge to do that. And then I'm going to put a dewy setting spray from Anastasia Beverly Hills all over the face just to fully lock everything in. And that will be the finished look right here popping right i know this look came out so fire and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and took some great tips and tricks from it this is the low light video and this is how it looks in regular lighting i hope you guys really really love it because i really love how this look came out and i know i said i have two lip combos i didn't record the red lip but i'm going to tell you what i what i used for that in the next clip right here so i used a dark brown liquid lipstick this was the jeffree star liquid lipstick in dominatrix i used that to line her lips and then i used fiery babe from lip talk cosmetics in the center of her lips and it gave me this pretty red carpet glam look so i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in next week's video peace